And that's one of the songs which uh, Maz, way over there on the piano, plays on, on the album. <laughs> Maz plays on the first one and, the, and this album here as well. A lot of things on the first one. And this one, and Tommy plays guitar on both of them as well. Oh. How many songs have you written? <laughs> How should I answer that? But it's, it's Roughly. Not enough. <laughs> Thanks. Not enough, um, someone says. I write a lot of songs, and there was, there was quite a few years where I wrote two songs a week. Really? Yeah. And at some stage, it, it, it got, it turned to be a problem, because when you play with guys like Henning and, 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 and you yeah, know, you keep coming with new songs, you think, we've got two long sets, and you come in with four new songs. So I've, I've sort of started trying to focus the songs that I write on, is this just for me? Is this a band song? Is this an album song? And, and sometimes I surprise myself. Lloyd Cole, who I like a lot, he said that um, songs just, just come into your hands or into your mouth, and it's up to you what you do with them. And I thought that's a good way of doing it, because I've got loads of songs which maybe when I write them, I don't know what to do with them. And then maybe 10 years later or 10 minutes later, I, I suddenly get an idea and say, OK, I could do that, and I could do this. And some songs get changed, some songs stay as they are, but. I find a place to use them, either an album or at a show or whatever, you know. So if you want me to give you a total, I, you know, we're, we're talking of thousands of songs, but I can't play them all. You know, some of the songs I write them and then it's, it's a bit like you write them, then you finish it and you say, hmm, that was that, you know. And you're you, done with them. It's, it's it. a statement. Sometimes you just okay. sort of wanted to write about a situation which, which you're annoyed about. And you, if you write a song, it's like, you know, just throwing a stone in the river and then leave yeah. it. And some songs come very quickly, and some songs uh, you have to use a bit of time to, to, to get the final bit on it. So could you, could you tell us a bit about the songwriting process? Because if you've written thousands of songs, it's, you must know quite a bit about that. How do they come to you? I tend to... There's two ways. Either they just drop out of the sky into your lap, and you, you suddenly find yourself writing a song. That's the easy and that's way, some, That's the easy way, yeah. But it's not always the easy way. No. I, tend to, I tend to think of it often like me sitting in a place looking at people. It's like collecting Lego bricks. You know, you're down at the diner and you see this girl and you like her name. And, because waitresses, they've often got their name on. So you say, oh, that's a nice name. And then you see something else and you, or you take all these Lego bricks home. And then one day you take some of them out of the box and you start building. And some days you can't build anything. And some days you suddenly you built something. And that's, that's in many ways the way I look at songwriting. It's, it's a case of going back and thinking, what did I see yesterday? What do I want to sing about? And, and it's often in the morning. Often I get ideas when I'm on the train, and we'll hear some train songs later. When I'm on a train where I've got two or three or eight hours journey ahead of me and I've got nothing to do but look and sit and write songs, that's a good place. But most of the songs are finished or written in the morning. I'm a, I'm, I'm a typically A person. I get up very early and go to bed very early, unless I'm doing things with you here in the sofa. And um, in the morning, I, I just find that's a good time for me to... And Susanna's there, and we have coffee, and the, maybe if it's in the winter, the, the, the candle's lit, you know. And Susanna actually knows all my songs, I think. Well done. If you should forget. <laughs> actually... This next song that you've got to play with the band yeah. Yeah. Uh, is a bit about writing songs in the morning, isn't it? It starts off, yeah, exactly. It's, this is one of the, the few songs I've written which is actually the film in my head is in, in England. And um, it starts off with my process of writing with coffee and, and guitar and whatever. And then it goes on. It's, it, when I left school, I, I did a road trip back to my hometown with a, a good friend from school, and we, we spent some days down there. And it's sort of roughly based around that. But you may have noticed on the album, there's quite a few. I, I, I tend to 
there's some few things which I go back to. And one thing that I, I tend to, to tend to write, this is, this is a song, this, this song, this is the first song I've ever written where Botox is, is mentioned. But I'm, I'm, it fascinates me with this perfect me and, and you have to use Botox to get to be the perfect me. And, and, and beauty, what is, what is beauty? Is it out of a bottle or is it just natural beauty? Yeah, let's hear it. Sleepy girl. Keep it cool, keep it easy, keep falling on the floor, keep it natural. Sleepy girl, long black curls, who's gonna wake you up tonight? It's on the cheek, turn on the light. Ah, sleepy girl.
Mass on the piano. Thank you.